Hello, parents. Thanks for joining me on this episode of the Fast Math Freebies at Home Edition. Do you have a third, fourth, or fifth grader live in the state of Florida and want to help your child prepare for the Fast Math Assessment in May? Well, if you're answering yes to all three of those questions, you are in the right place. My name is Miss McCarthy, and I am a former Florida public school teacher on a mission to make math fun, make it click, and make it stick. For years, I've been creating resources with teachers in mind. And now I'm expanding my impact to create affordable and engaging math video lessons and practice for you to use at home with your child. The following free episode is actually a part of a free course. So all you have to do is click the link in the description box, enroll in the course today, and you'll have access to all of the fast math freebies, the video lessons, and the printables for this grade. And now it's time to dive into that free episode. So let's do it. All right, fifth grade, here is your problem this week. It is an editing task problem. So go ahead and pause the video and try this one on your own. Study it carefully, work it out carefully, show your journey carefully on paper. And then when you're ready, come on back and let's check your work. Welcome back fifth grade. Okay, this one says that a numerical expression, those are fancy words. Numerical, that means that we have numbers involved. And expression means that there's, we're genuinely talking about something that doesn't involve the equal sign. No equal sign, as you can see. Okay, right down there, there's no equal sign. A numerical expression, an expression with numbers, is shown below. We see one half, and then inside of parentheses, 36 divided by six. Complete the mathematical description. So this is turning that numerical expression into words, okay? Using a mathematical description by filling in the blanks. Okay, so it says blank the blank. And I see little arrows right here. So on a computer-based test, I would click these two arrows and that would drop down at the answer choices and I would select the answer choice that makes sense. So for this one, would it be twice the blank, half the blank, or 12 times the blank? I think they're talking about this piece right there and that is the fraction that we would read as one half. So this would be not twice the blank and not 12 times the blank, but half the blank half the, and I see 36 and six is all the same right here. So it's just about changing these vocabulary words right there. So half the difference of 36 and six, well the difference would mean that we're doing which operation? Subtracting, right? The product of 36 and six, that would mean that we're doing which operation with 36 and six? Multiplying. The quotient of 36 and six, when we are finding the quotient, which operation are we performing? Division, yeah. And for sum, the sum of 36 and six, which operation is that? Addition, awesome. Okay, so now that we know that, are we subtracting, multiplying, dividing or adding 36 and six in our numerical expression. We are dividing. So we need to select the one that says the quotient of 36 and six. I'm gonna go ahead and highlight the answer that I would select and highlight the answer that I would select right there. So we would want it to say half the quotient of 36 and six. Notice how I showed my journey of what was going on right here. That's important. It helps you to identify your way through the problem. Make sure that you are developing those strategies too and not just looking at it and picking answers. It's important to showcase your journey along the way. Thank you so much for joining me today. And remember, if you're looking for the principle that goes along with this video, you can enroll in that free course today, which gives you access to this video and the printable and all the other videos that I've created, the Fast Math freebie episodes, all in one place for you. And you know what? If you're anything like me, it's out of sight, out of mind. I know that you're busy, so why don't you go ahead and do that now? That way it's off your plate, you take care of it, and you can get your instant access today. Thanks again, and I cannot wait to see you inside the free course.